So this is our third PowerPoint uh, tutorial. Uh, on this one we're going to work on drawing an epidural hematoma. It's probably going to be the most uh, complicated, not really complicated, but a lot of it's kind of uh, tedious, so it's going to take, take a while. So let's go ahead and, and take uh, a look again at what our final product is going to be. Now you'll notice that I've changed things around our uh, the uh, previous illustration that I used, I made using um, Adobe Illustrator, but uh, I wanted to stick with using a purely PowerPoint here. So we're going to go ahead and run the animation. Of course, I could watch the anima animation about a hundred times in a row and never get tired of it, but here goes. Sweet. Anyway, so there was our animation. So that's what we're looking forward to being able to do. So. So far, we've uh, we've drawn a baseball successfully. We've drawn a brain with um, uh, a dura and with a skull. So the only thing that's left to do really is to draw an epidural hematoma. And this is what I'm going to use uh, is our epidural hematoma. But obviously, we're going to have to wedge this thing into here, and that doesn't look quite right. So we're going to have to adjust our brain somewhat to uh, to get it in there. So let's go ahead and just put this back where it used to be. All right, so this is what we're shooting for, something like this, and it's going to take us a little while to get there. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So here we've got our intact brain, and remember this uh, consisted of some things that we sort of grouped together. So we're going to, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to modify this part of the brain right here. So what we're going to have to do is ungroup all this stuff. So let's ungroup, okay. And now we're going to have to ungroup the brain because we've got both sides of the brain grouped there. So let's ungroup that also. All right. So now we've got uh, one part of the brain right here that we can that we can work on. And remember how we sort of drew that brain by uh, tracing the uh, uh, that drawing that we found um, on one of the uh, in one of the Emory eBooks. So we're going to have to modify this thing to be able to make it look like this uh, right here. And what I'm going to do is show you how to modify it. I may not go ahead and go uh, and do the entire modification because it gets a little bit uh, tedious, but I'll go ahead and, uh, and show you guys how to, how to do that. So let's go ahead and go back to this slide uh, right here. So how are we going to modify this thing? Well, we're going to right-click on this thing and go to Edit Points. Okay, so now you can see that there's all sorts of points that we've uh, got right here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get rid of some of these points to be able to change this uh, uh, th this drawing. So what I'm going to do is press down. I'm going to hold down the control key, okay. And you can see that uh, as we move our mouse over these points, it turns into an X. And what that does is it helps us to get rid of some of these uh, points. So what I'm going to do is click, left click on here, and you can see that we're starting to get rid of a whole bunch. Of these points. You can see how it gets tedious after a while, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do this for a little, little while just to show you what it is that I'm shooting for. Should probably getting at least be getting the picture here that we're going to modify this enough to where we can uh, squeeze that subdural, I'm sorry, that epidural hematoma in. Okay, and that epidural hematoma. Let's get rid of a couple, couple of more. Okay. All right. So now we can start thinking about putting that epidural hematoma in here. So let's go ahead and get that epidural hematoma. Here it is. Copy. Paste, and we're just going to put it right here. By the way, this epidural hematoma—it's nothing more than an oval. Remember how we uh, we can find a shape, oval, 
And all I did basically was I sort of modified it and just rotated it around like this. And I messed around with it. Format shape. Uh, I gave it a solid fill. I think I gave it this, this color right here. And I, I took away the line. So this is how we'd make our, uh, make our epidural hematoma. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And we're just going to stick with the one that I already have. So let's see if we can try to put this thing in there. And it doesn't, doesn't quite fit. What we're going to have to do, I think, is eliminate a couple more of these, um, uh, of these points. So let's go ahead and get rid of a couple more just for grins. All right, that doesn't look quite natural in terms of uh, in terms of being able to put our epidural hematoma in, in, into here. Um, it would look a little bit better if this were if this thing were curved, and we can actually do that. So again, we right click, edit points, and then we're going to uh, click right there, add point right there. Okay, and then we just left click on that point and pull it back. Okay. Now we can put this thing in there. Now you'll see that it doesn't fit uh, completely. You can play around with this uh, thing some. Hit edit points again. You can move this thing forward like this. You can even grab these little handles right here and you can change change this thing around uh, somewhat and get, get it to fit in, into there. I don't want to spend too much time on the fine points here. You can mess around with that uh, by yourself. The other thing of course that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to modify the uh, the dura here, okay? And you do that the same way that we modified the brain. So we right-click on that and go to Edit Points. And again, you can grab part of this dura here and move it around. We'll, let's say we'll add a point right here, Add Point. I'm just going to pull that around like that. And we can pull this back some, but you get you get the message. Let's add a point right here. Add point. Oops, that didn't work very well. You hit Control Z and you can uh, undo things. Or you can grab this little handle right here, okay, and pull that forward somewhat. And now we can put our epidural hematoma in there. Now it doesn't, again, it doesn't fit uh, uh, completely. I don't want to belabor things and, and spend a lot of time perfecting this epidural hematoma, but, but you get the message. You right click and you edit uh, points and you move th move things uh, move things around uh, somewhat. So let's go ahead and go to what uh, what this thing might look like. This is uh, what what you might end up with uh, right here. So this is our finished epidural hematoma right here. And again, we got there by uh, by uh, by editing the uh, uh, the drawings that we did uh, previously. Now um, the reason that I um, I chose to draw the epidural, I'm sorry, not the epidural hematoma, the dura and the brain the way that I did was so that I could edit points, so that I could edit the points. Now you can't do that when you just uh, when you use these sort of pre-made shapes. So if we have a pre-made shape like this, okay, let's change that a little bit, let's make this a little bit bigger, okay, you can't do edit points. So go here and you'll see, um, you see that there's no uh, thing that pops up like edit points. On this right here though you get a choice to edit points and that's why I went ahead and when I was drawing the skull and the, and the, uh, and the, uh, and the dura and the brain that's why I went ahead and drew them uh, sort of uh, semi freehand because that gives you the opportunity to edit points which you don't have when you use uh, sort of pre-made uh, circles. Anyway, that wraps up our, um, our presentation on uh, drawing an epidural hematoma. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put everything together and animate um, uh, and show you how to animate uh, the, uh, the slide so that you get something that looks like that. And again, I could look at that hundreds of times and never tire of it.